Hello everybody, my name is Auxe and I'm gonna talk with you today about uh, what things I do to make my rosacea a little bit better because uh, normally I have a normal skin but uh, this year it just um, something changed and all this year I had to fight with uh, rosacea which would come on like little bumps all around my my mouth and then then it would go around here as well on both sides and uh, I'm not wearing makeup today uh, so so I thought it would be just nice idea to make a video ab and just talk about this uh, subject and um, as it looks now it's actually not too bad but I did had much worse before so uh, things that helped me I will show you I will talk uh, step by step so, uh, last night, for an example, like I applied this cream, it's uh, Avene Xero Calm, and um, because it has a lot of like lipids in it, I think that's what helped me. It's uh, because my skin is very dry, very sensitive, and it feels very tight. So when I apply it, it just creates like a moisture, like a barrier and it's really sticky like very sticky and it's sometimes uncomfortable to sleep uh, at night because if you touch the pillow it just like it feels very sticky but i think that's what helped me last few days uh, and also the days before i noticed so this is the only thing that uh, that helped me so much uh, so for an example uh, for an example in the in the evening when i have to clean the makeup so I I used to not use anything before, only wet wipe, which is then I realized it's not correct that you have to use some kind of cleansers. And then I started to use different type of cleansers and then my skin became just worse. So uh, I decided uh, sometimes like just to use this type of cloth. It's a little bit dirty at the moment, but basically when you take shower, you just like uh, make it with, uh, wet it with warm water and then you just clean your face without even putting any cleanser, which uh, just irritates, uh, you know, my skin less if I do, uh, if I cleanse less with other type of cleansers. And sometimes if I need to clean my, my mascara, I would use this gentle milk. It's from La Roche Posay. It's very gentle, and uh, I don't see any problem when I use that one. So I clean my makeup, and then immediately when I take shower, my skin starts to feel really dry and tight, and just uh, screaming for some kind of cream. So, so what I do is uh, I notice that um, creams for me doesn't help much. So uh, these past months I have been using many oils. Uh, so for it could be like any type of oil it could be uh, coconut oil or any other and I'm very into recently I, I bought a lot of essential oils I have a I don't know seven of them I think and um, recently what I do is I put uh, like three drops of chamomile essential oil and then one drop of turmeric oil into my some kind of like a coconut oil or cream and then I rub it in my hands and then I apply it on the face all around avoiding the eye area so on the eye area I use like a normal oil but without essential oil because it can irritate so I do that and then recently of course what I was doing is I was doing this cream with uh, chamomile and turmeric so maybe that what what was soothing for my skin so uh, I just like discovered it by myself on internet that turmeric can be quite soothing for your skin so I apply like one or two drops of turmeric but also like you have to be like very careful check the skin because sometimes essential oils can be quite irritating but in my case I think uh, these two works quite well also I, I bought uh, I bought just to try like I don't know if you have ever heard about Neroli oil it's Neroli oil so basically it's known as like uh, making the skin cells to regenerate faster and um, I tried it uh, I really liked the smell it's like not too bad but I didn't notice any big 
like benefits maybe if you use it like a long long time then you can see also i bought uh, bergamot oil i wasn't sure actually why i bought it but i thought this i thought i read somewhere that it's good for the skin which actually maybe is, i'm not sure about this one bergamot oil so didn't notice much benefit as, as well and then also i have lavender and frankincense oil so frankincense is anti-aging and then lavender is anti-inflammatory so um, I both uh, both like if I put it then I just apply maybe one drop because it can be quite irritating on the skin didn't notice uh, much uh, effect as well maybe wasn't like um, checking very well I'm, I'm not sure about that so also like I tried many many things like uh, because uh, it happened that uh, I am working in the place where I'm able to try like many skin testers so I tried those uh, but then I realized that there is no cure for rosacea because it's just uh, genet genetic in my family there is a person that has that and uh, so there is no cure like um, you can try as many things as you can but at the end it just uh, your skin will end up like really being very tired and <laughs> I think the more simple things uh, we use, maybe the better is for the skin. Also, like I'm trying in the future, um, like uh, to try maybe to take some supplements to see how that would work. Maybe like um, like let's say oregano oil capsules. I have never tried that before, but uh, would be very curious to try. Uh, I already tried like milk thistle milk thistle because it, they say it detoxify the body but um, I didn't uh, notice any benefit for my skin and then uh, I am trying now turmeric capsules as well like didn't notice much benefits as well maybe takes time I'm not sure also I have tried uh, putting colloidal silver on the skin uh, so I wasn't so sure about that too and then the next topic that uh, we can talk about like mm, some of the days because it's quite a big topic I noticed that if I have a flare up uh, it's very difficult to cover the skin you know to cover it uh, and go to work so so some some foundations if I would apply it would just like make those uh, dry skin flakes to look even more exaggerated you know so I haven't yet discovered any type of uh, extremely good foundation and meanwhile what I'm using is uh, this one is Bioderma BB cream it's uh, I use in light shade so if I want to look natural I just uh, I put my my cream uh, and then after I put tiny bit of this BB cream and because it's uh, kind of a little bit darker it just covers the redness and it's not uh, irritating as well or also like um, this one is Vichy Bioderma uh, I use that one sometime too if uh, I would put it too much then my skin will uh, sometimes would look a little bit fake so I I don't know I, I don't know to be honest like and I know I see like uh, girls on YouTube they post like a lot of uh, like videos about uh, there is that foundation Estee Lauder, Lauder, Estee Lauder, 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 I don't remember. It's like double wear, some kind of foundation which is supposed to be very expensive but quite good. Like, uh, like I cannot afford at the moment uh, such uh, type of foundations. Maybe in the future, um, I I would like to believe that there is a miracle, miracle you know, that the, there is something that you can put on the skin and would. Uh, just uh, look perf perfect but uh, I have never discovered it yet so for the moment uh, I'm satisfied with those two and um, and then like um, next time there are um, a lot of topics to talk about next time next time I think I can open more uh, topic about uh, mascaras because to be honest I have a, a lot of issues as well um, you know mascaras when you apply just like uh, it transfers over here and recent and also like for sensitive eyes as well 
uh, it's very difficult to choose a mascara so recently I discovered one which is like not too bad so I can talk about it as well next time so um, thank you very much again my name is Alkse and um, I will keep on uploading you another video soon thank you very much